What's going on, guys? Hope you are having a great day. Guys, I just got an awesome box in the mail. And I've been mentioned about we're going to start a new build. And this time I'm going to do this 100% from the start. So this build's going to take a little while. Um, it's going to involve getting a lot of different parts. And uh, I'm going to be trying to get kind of the best of everything to put this together. Um, as you guys can see here, I have my older original Creighton 6S. This is the, not the EXB, just a straight Creighton 6S. Now, this is strictly going to be a loaner for some parts, for uh, some odds and ends. Mainly shocks, A-arms, and a few other bits and pieces. But the majority of this is going to be no longer. Because, I'll show you, <laughs> we got a box of awesomeness here. Yes, that is right. We are going to start another Creighton XL build. Um, as you guys know, the Red Bull has become one of my favorites. Um, probably in the top two. Don't know where exactly it lands, but this car has been awesome. Love the platform, love the handling, love the air control on this thing. So, this one I put together, and I kind of threw it together really quickly from just uh, a Creighton 6S build. So, there's a lot of original Creighton 6S stuff. There's still plastic diffs on the front. There's aluminum one on the back. Um, kind of an odds and ends, bits and pieces thrown together. It's been a great car. However, I want to build another one because I want to do this one right. <laughs> so we have started out from scratch with the full M2C Racing Creighton XL Beefcake Kit here. And as you can see, you got everything. Shock tower braces, all the front and rear chassis supports, um, Mulls and shock caps, uh, the proper shock hinge pins. I'm sorry, the shock standoffs. Guys, you know my, my words. Front and rear shock towers. And uh, like I said, on the Creighton 6S, on my first one, uh, those are just the EXB versions on there. So we are going to go full M2C Racing Beefcake on this one, guys. Can't wait to get this thing together. All the front and rear hinge pins with the locking style hinge pins because this has been another issue I had with my other one was the hinge pins ripping out. So we are going to go full locking style on this one for the front and the rear. Um, and then, of course, with the kit comes the new front drive shaft you need for the Mojave because obviously this beautiful work of art right here, the Mojave chassis, um, is longer. So you do have to change out your front drive shaft. But guys, we got the entire kit together. Um, this video kind of just showing you what we're going to start working with. I'm going to break the Creighton 6S down and basically tear off everything that I think I'm going to use on this build, um, which isn't honestly very much except the A-arms and stuff because this car had brand new A-arms put on it. Um, and I think I've only ran it like one time with the new stuff. So I'm going to be using this suspension um, and, of course, going with the emulsion caps and that suspension on it. And these emulsion caps on the suspension with their valves just works amazing. So... We're going to redo the shocks on this, but we're going to tear this thing down, get this thing torn down to what I'm going to use. And this is kind of what this video is about. Just the first one of many guys. I'm not going to do these all back to back and bore everybody, but there'll be some videos here and there of this build process and showing you how it's going and what I'm putting on it. So let's get this thing torn apart next. First things I know I'm going to keep, and like I said, obviously all the front and rear A arms, the upper and lowers, all the control arms, all the steering links, um, and also like the receiver box the center, di uh, center diff and the rear drive shafts and stuff. I probably going to use this wing because this is a brand new, this is an RPM wing mount. I might put on the uh, 3D RC mount on this thing with this wing, but this wing didn't get much use, so I might clean it up. Or I might get something new. This is going to turn in probably, we're trying to make this one of the nicer builds I've put together so far. But uh, I'm going to start tearing off the odds and ends stuff, you know, all the little bits and pieces and get this thing stripped on. Obviously, that servo is not going to stay in here. I've actually been saving this for this build. Um, I ordered two of these. I put one of them in, I think, it's either the Italian or the Creighton XL. I can't remember which one I have now, but I've been using these servos um, in a couple cars, and they have been holding up and working awesome. Um, they are not the fastest thing out there, but they will put up with punishment and getting beat on. <laughs> Because honestly, that's always one thing, I think I've mentioned this before, you know, people always talk about wanting to get a super, super fast servo. But guys, for bashing, 
you're not really wanting something, you don't need something that's super fast. You're wanting something that can take those hits and the, and the beatings and the bad landings and all that punishment. Speed is just a part of what you need, but it is far, far from the most important thing. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked. I'm going to start tearing this thing down, and uh, I'll show you guys in my shoebox here of what <laughs> I'm keeping. So, guys, right now, I am just going through and taking out every single screw everywhere <laughs> and taking all the immediate plastic stuff off here. I'm going to save and make sure I keep a hold of all of this hardware in one container. Um, a lot of this stuff, like I said, is just going to go in the trash because, honestly, um, a lot of the stuff I'm not going to keep. Obviously, the chassis I'm going to keep for something else. Um, I might decide to do something, some other type of build, or depending on maybe if I get another car here coming up soon, you know, we'll use this chassis on that. But for now, this chassis, I don't need because she's going to get a little longer. Well, guys, I've been taking some screws off for the last couple minutes and all but one came out and uh, <laughs> she's ready to come apart now. It's a bit of a mess. But uh, this rear one, I got to loosen this nut up, I think, on this rear chassis brace to get that off. But basically, I'm going to do and do the braces here, um, get the servo pulled out of this setup. I don't know if I'm going to go with that same setup for the servo. I might, because, I mean, they're, they're not bad. Um, but obviously, there's going to be a lot of things changed out. I'm going to be saving the A-arms and the differentials. However, I'm getting rid of the diff cases and I'm going to be getting some sort of aluminum differential cases. I don't know what kind. I might be going with Vitavon. I might go with the hot racing. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to see what uh, see what's all out there. But uh, let's finish tearing this thing apart and get this thing in the shoebox <laughs> and ready for the next step. All right, everyone. Well, I figured I'd bring you guys back here for a moment. I started getting everything torn down. I got the back completely free. I'm just going to rip off Basically, get rid of the rear diff. I'm going to save the diff, uh, the differential itself and the gears because they are actually brand new. But I'm just going to not use this case because I'm definitely going with aluminum cases from the start on this build. Um, it's one thing that was lacking on my other one. Um, I pulled this apart. I got the battery tray and receiver box out. That's going in the trash. That's going in the trash. I actually had a brand new one uh, minus this piece and the Velcro. But I had a brand new receiver box and a new tray. I just transferred the Velcro and a piece over. So now I got the larger receiver box and uh, everything's all new. So none of the screws are stripped out of the bottom of these because they all get, always get pulled out. So that's going to be a keep. And I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this ripped down. The center diff um, looks good. Everything feels pretty smooth on it. Turning nice and free. The mounts definitely got a little bit of wear on it. But uh, this is actually one of those PPS mounts I got ages ago. Um, it's been holding up pretty good. I'm going to have to get a new top cover because, as you can see, this one got busted down at the skate park because you know how gentle skate parks are on cars. <laughs> but we are going to save and pretty much salvage most of this. Um, but I am going to get a few little bits and pieces for it. But uh, that'll be in the keep box. As you can see, I got a nice uh, collection of hardware going on here. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to make this video too much longer. I'm going to go ahead. Get everything torn down to what I'm going to save. I'll show you guys what I'm saving out of this and what's going either in the you know spare parts bin or the trash from here. And can't wait to get this build underway. And now I got some more parts to order. <laughs> more money to spend. All right. Well, there's not much left. As you can see in my box here, got the rear wing in the mount. Don't know if I'm going to use that for sure. What I'm going to do. I got the rear diff torn down, the whole rear end torn down to this point. I haven't ripped these off yet because I'm just going to wait for the new diff case. So I can transfer over the diff and immediately put on the new locking hinge pins um, and all of that onto this and put it together in one big piece. Um, like I said, these are all brand new RPMA arms on here. So that's why I'm going to keep this, but I'm going to just rebuild the shocks and do the emulsion style on here. Um, I have the servo and everything piece here, but like I said, I'm going to change out the servo and I'm going to clean all this up, you know, pretty nicely. I mean, guys, I'm going to try to make this... You know, a nicely put together build. I'm not going to change out every little bit and piece and start from new um, because I kind of do want to show, you know, if you're basically going to get this kit, um, you know, obviously it doesn't make sense to just buy every single part new. Everything you can possibly use and transfer over is great, but important stuff, I want to start with new again. And the biggest thing for me are these differential cases, the stock plastic ones on any major basher that you are going to be really airing out. You got to go with the aluminum, unfortunately. It's just a must. They, they they flex too much, and that's when you start tearing apart your differentials. And I did notice, I did look, and it was on my Crate and XL I have now that I put that servo in, and that servo has been holding up awesome. So 
this will be going into my box of what I'm using stuff. But I got the front end torn down to this point too. Uh, I got everything disconnected. There is a couple drive shafts I found. I'm going to have to, I got to order some drive shafts. I'm going to get the M2C Racing Overkill Beefcake drive shafts. But as you can see, this was one of my rears. <laughs> and it's a little bit tweaked. So definitely need that. Shock towers, obviously going in the trash. Old center brace is going in the trash. Um, anything that's broken bent is going in there. I'm also going to be probably doing aluminum front knuckles um, like I did on the Creighton XL and my Italian because so far they have been working out great on these and I haven't been having the pillar balls blow out all the time. So that's definitely been a great upgrade. So I'm definitely at least going to put the aluminum on the front. I don't know if I'll do it on the rear or not, but the front are definitely going to get it. Also guys, yeah, this poor body has seen better days. However, you see here, I got a brand new one sitting here waiting to get painted. I just got a couple days ago. I'm waiting for the paint to show up. I'm gonna start kind of making a lot of my cars um, one similar color, or at least some of my major ones, because I do like that green, and I want to see what the Red Bull looks like in that. Um, it's still going to be named Red Bull. However, it's just going to be a different color. <laughs> Might not make as much sense, but whatever. It's my car. All right, guys. Well, that's where I got it to. Um, I looked at all the diff gears. Everything looks to be in good shape. None of the teeth look really worn, chipped, or anything like that. So I will be using the diffs, but I'm just going to be putting on the diff cases, um, all the aluminum stuff on there. And... Uh, I'm going to get those things ordered up today and get this thing on the road, get this thing on the road. But that's it, guys. Now we got a Creighton 6S in a box, and this is what I'm going to be using, refurbing, um, or changing out um, to the new build. So that is going to do it. This stuff's going to go in the trash. But, guys, I figured I'd start bringing you along. A lot, a lot of guys really enjoy, um, you know, the build videos. So I figured, you know, I'm going to start this one, and uh, I figured I'd start from the very scratch of getting the parts and tearing down the old one. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. But that is going to do it. So until next time, y'all be safe. Be careful out there. Peace out, everybody. Creighton in a box.